To reduce tension, practice the easy does it attitude. Do everything more slowly, less hectically, and without pressure. My friend Branch Rickey, famous baseball man, told me that he would not use a player, no matter how well he hits, feels, or runs, if he overpresses. To be a successful big league baseball player, there must be a flow of easy power through every action. The most effective way to hit a ball is by the easy method, where all the muscles are flexible and operating in correlated power. Try to kill the ball and you will slice it or maybe miss altogether. That is true in golf, in baseball, in every sport, and it's the same in all success. Analyze people who are really efficient and they always seem to do things easily with a minimum of effort. In so doing, they release maximum power. One of my friends, a famous businessman who handles important affairs and varied interests, always seems at ease. I inquired the secret of his obviously easy power. Oh, it isn't much of a secret, he said. I just try to keep myself in tune with God, that's all. Every morning after breakfast, he explained, my wife and I go into the living room for a period of quietness. One of us reads aloud some inspirational piece. Following that, we sit quietly, each praying or meditating according to his own manner. Then together we affirm the thought that God is now filling us with strength and quiet energy. This is a definite 15-minute ritual and we never miss it. We couldn't get along without it. As a result, I always seem to feel that I have peace and energy. So said this efficient man who demonstrates easy power. Many people nowadays practice this or similar techniques for reducing tension. One February morning, I was rushing down the long veranda of a Florida hotel with a handful of mail just in from my office in New York. I'd come to Florida for a midwinter vacation but hadn't seemed to get out of the routine of dealing with my mail the first thing in the morning. As I hurried by, headed for a couple of hours' work, a friend from Georgia who was sitting in a rocking chair with his hat partially over his eyes stopped me in my headlong rush and said in his slow and pleasant southern drawl, "'Where are you rushing for, doctor? "'That's no way to do down here in the Florida sunshine.' Come over and sit in one of these rocking chairs and help me practice one of the greatest of the arts. Mystified, I said, help you practice one of the greatest of the arts. Yes, he replied, an art that's passing out. Not many people know how to do it anymore. Well, I asked, please tell me what it is. He explained, I'm practicing the art of just sitting in the sun. Sit here and let the sun fall on your face. It's warm-like and it smells good. It makes you feel peaceful inside. Did you ever think about the sun, he asked? It never hurries, never gets excited. It just works slowly and makes no noise. Doesn't push any buzzers, doesn't answer any telephones. Just goes on a-shining. And the sun does more work in an instant than you and I could ever do in a lifetime. When I sit in the sun, it puts some rays into me that give me energy. That is, when I take time to sit in the sun. So throw that mail over in the corner, he said, and sit down here with me. I did so, and when finally I went to my room and got at my mail, I finished it in no time at all. And there was a good part of the day left for vacation activities and for more sitting in the sun. The secret is to keep the mind quiet, avoiding all hectic reactions, and to practice peaceful thinking. The essence of the art is to keep the tempo down, to do your work on the basis of the most efficient conservation of energy. Get some plan for practicing relaxed power. One of the best such plans was suggested to me by Captain Eddie Rickenbacker, a busy man, he manages to handle his responsibilities in a manner indicating reserves of power. I was filming a program for television with him. The filming was delayed long beyond the time anticipated. 
I noted, however, that the captain showed no signs of agitation. He did not become nervous or anxious. He did not pace up and down, putting in frantic calls to his office. There were a couple of old rocking chairs there. He sat down in one rocker in a very relaxed manner. I commented on his lack of tension. I know how busy you are, I said, and I marvel at how you can be so imperturbable. Then I said, Eddie, I know you have some technique for relaxing. Let me have it. He gave me a formula which he says he uses frequently, and I now use it myself, and it really works. It may be outlined as follows. First, collapse physically. Practice this several times a day. Let go every muscle in your body, getting your body into complete looseness. Form a mental picture of a huge burlap sack of potatoes. Then mentally cut the bag, allowing the potatoes to roll out. Think of yourself as the sack. What is more relaxed than an empty burlap sack? The second element in the formula is to drain the mind of all irritation, all resentment, disappointment, frustration, and annoyance. Third, think spiritually. Turn the mind at regular intervals to God. This keeps you in tune with God's harmony. It refills you with peace. This three-point program is an excellent method for relaxing and living on the basis of easy does it.